the, the particular nature of this war, which is so concerning to people, is the massively high percentage of the Gazan population, which is children. And that did not happen in World War II. Those numbers were not anything like the same. So there's no direct comparison to be made. You're basically waging war on a very small area of land, densely populated by 50% children. And in the process, you're killing thousands and thousands of children and will continue to do so. And that is why the international community, even those who, like me, say, I think you have a right and a duty to defend yourself, and clearly, if a mass is wedded to doing more of these, you must try and get rid of them. But there must come a point, even for Israel, even for people like yourself, where you look at the sheer numbers of children being killed and you stop and pause and think, is this actually the right way to prosecute this war? Piers, I'd rather be unpopular and alive than beloved and dead. And if the world uh, doesn't have sympathy for us uh, when we're fighting for our lives, fighting for our lives, because it's not only Hamas and Hezbollah, so be it. We're just going to have to do what we need to do. And I can guarantee that more uh, Nazi children and German children died in World War II than uh, in Gaza. Not as a percentage of those who died. That's the point. Let me ask right, you... A... Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in a math uh, class right now. I'm in the well, real world. Well, to be fair, you were, the one, you were the one that was anyone, actually... You wanted, anyone, me to, you wanted to make the comparison. Has... I'm simply saying the comparison is not a valid one for that specific reason. It, it's...